The Sunday experiences have really brought again to the forefront what our mission is, like Yeka said, to do good works. Knowing that it's something we're created to do and something that Christ has equipped us to do really has spurred us to just continue to do, you know, everything he's made us to do and, and serve others. Finding people of like faith that can spur us on to be better versions of ourselves. And also, of course, the word. Um, I think the authenticity and the heart that Pastor Ed shares from definitely keeps us coming back. We were new to Victory Church. Um, it's been about two months now. Uh, the Invite Your Neighbor has given me the tools and the push uh, to go invite others to come serve with me. Um, something I wasn't really, I, I was more the, oh, nobody wants to come serve with me. They don't want to come down here. She ended up asking one of our neighbors. <laughs> who, who did you invite? Who did you invite? Sean. Sean. And what did he say? <laughs> My life group taught me to have more sensitivity to those in need and see them as honored guests. I've grown really by opening my eyes to the marginalized community. I've had a conscious awareness of them before. However, this is a major shift in focus to prioritize them and not let opportunities to serve them go to waste. Through this type of service, we are showing them God's love for them and hopefully helping them to develop their own faith to follow the Lord. In my Invite Your Neighbor life group, I have grown by learning from new neighbors, new life group members. It's been awesome to get to discuss these different topics with people I've just met and from different walks of life. I think it's really driven home and defined unity for me. All individuals coming together with the same focus, Jesus. I love being open, being real, and that we can share things we're passionate about and have the opportunity to pray and get prayer with our new friends. In my life group, I learned it's not about me. Jesus is with me when I'm asking someone to serve alongside me. I learned that it's all about love, God's love that we're inviting people to experience. I love getting the practical steps to reaching my everyday neighbor in a new way. Doing it with my life group gives me the feeling that I'm not trying to reach my neighbor alone. I came to the Invite Your Neighbor Life Group to reconnect with Christians. My heart is far from where it used to be, and I know having fellowship is a key to bringing me back around. I'm thankful to be here. Hi, I'm Pastor Michael Faulkner, and we're here at McPherson Park, and this is part of a day of hope. And this is one of 50 different sites that are being served by God's people. We're excited that God has allowed us to be here and we're here to share the hope of Jesus Christ. All the different projects we have, we have a lot of access to help the community in different areas, in small areas and big areas. We are seen in the community and so the community is able to see, oh, this is the hands and feet of Jesus working. And it has also given me an opportunity to like bring my family involved and show my son at such a young age that it's important for him to be God's hands and feet as well. And to look around and see that he's also able to be to answer some of those needs no matter how young we are. It's the first time, you know, we're meeting a lot of each, yes. each other and mm -hmm. so it's it's great because we have such a big family at Victory mm -hmm. and um, exactly. so it's great to get to know people and mm -hmm. have a lot of fun. We see people who are planting trees, inviting their friends, inviting people who don't know God, who's saying, I can do that. Hope is hope is a, a, a real good name for it, an apropos name for it, because that's, all, that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to provide hope and let them know that God is still on the job. 